Hello there peeps and welcome to uh, Air Hauler, it's an add-on for Flight Simulator X. My name is Soccer Gloss, thank you for joining me. What well, basically this game is like Euro Truck Simulator 2 but in the air um, and we're gonna gonna dive straight in. Okay so uh, our company name is going to be... Um, let's move... you probably know what I'm gonna say here. Uh, Airways. And then we're gonna have my owner is obviously the one and only. Oh, I can't spell. Um, yeah. So as I say, this is very similar to Euro Truck Simulator 2. If anything, uh, it makes Flight Simulator X a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it makes Flight Simulator X a little bit. Um, uh, like worthwhile. So, uh, uh, you know, you got a reason to fly to a, to a, to a place. Um, we're going to set up a company. We're going to open our base up in the UK. Um, in fact, it's going to be. Uh, you can choose anywhere in the world. Uh, we're going to have it in good old my back town, Gloucestershire. So we're going to open a base. Congratulations, you want a base in Gloucestershire. Uh, we got next payment. Uh, basically, you got to pay rent. It's quite in depth. This. Um, as you can see across here, you got you, you can choose your pilots. You got a fleet of uh, you can have a fleet of airplanes. You can open bases anywhere in the world, like I said. You could buy used aircraft. You could buy new new, or you can lease new aircraft. You can have a flight crew. You can play around with the stock market. It's sort of like reputation as well. You know, the better the rep you've got, uh, air you know your airline is, then uh, the more crew and things you can have. Um, let's Turn that down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Number of jobs. We want plenty of jobs. And uh, we'll have normal strips. Okay, you could change them anyway. Uh, that's it. Welcome to your new company. You started your new company uh, with your Cessna Caravan aircraft. You can find this in your fleet roster. Uh, press Let's Go to get to the job boards and start hauling. So what it's doing now is generating a load of jobs. Um, and this runs behind uh, Flight Simulator X. So basically... Uh, it monitors how you uh, how you fly, and if you're if you're hauling fragile goods and and you're a bit crazy on the joystick, it will tell you you've been a bit crazy, and we're gonna not pay you. So, as you can see, the centre of the world is Gloucestershire, and um, this is the uh, where our base is. So these are the jobs that we can choose. Uh, anything from Gloucestershire, we could choose any. You know, we can go from Jersey to or Ostervolda to Gloucestershire if you want to, but it means we have to fly our plane to Ostervolder to pick up the Blu-ray players to bring back to Gloucestershire. So we're going to start off in Gloucestershire. It makes sense. We don't have to go anywhere else. Um, and we could choose a flight. Now for the first one, I'm going to choose a fairly short one. Um, that one there, the Island Man, is fairly short. 158. Okay, I think that's the shortest. And look at that, 20 grand. And we're, we're hauling cigarettes. So <laughs> this seems like a omerta in real life. Um, Okay, so there we go. Twenty grand. That's a that's a big payday. That's that's not bad. That. So we can look down here in the job details. Uh, as you can see, it gives you information about the airport uh, and gives you the information about uh, where we're going as well. The Island Man, the EGNS, and also uh, it tells you how much it costs to fill up uh, with fuel and jet fuel, and also the landing fees as well. So it's quite in depth. It it, it pretty much it pretty much <laughs> takes as much money as it can off you. As if you're running a real business. Now these are the fragile uh, jobs that I was t telling you about. Is one of the, excuse me, with the with the, with the broken glass, the Easter eggs, and you can see some of the some of the payments there. So let's accept this job. Yes, please. Job accepted into my jobs list. Um, so what we do is you go to my job, uh, and here you go. It it shows you the run that you got to do. Now you can fly it with the AI crew. When you've got crew, um, we haven't got a good enough reputation. We need over fifty-five percent before we can hire crew, uh, other captains, and then we need, you know, to get an, some more planes and stuff. But I'll go into that as we go. Uh, this is just a quick introduction of the game, or the or this add-on really. Uh, I really do recommend it. It's a bit buggy. I've probably played this about four or five times now, and it's crashed on me pretty much every time. So fingers crossed that uh, you guys are watching this right now. So I'm going to go to uh, fly, select a job myself. Now it comes at the flight planning. 
and this is where you can change things as well you know if you wanted to stop off in EGNR before you head over to the Isle of Man you can um, or if you want to divert to EGFF you know you, you could just pretty much play with that and it will set the GPS to how you want it uh, and that's the only re that's the only way I know how to fly now we've got a Cessna caravan which which has got a certain um, uh, carry you know weight that we can carry so once we've loaded the cigarettes you can see we've got available 2568 pounds so by the time we filled up with fuel you know we're pretty much uh, fully laden yeah 8441 pounds and the maximum uh, I think that's maximum tonnage of weight is 8785 pounds so yeah we're pretty uh, pretty full so if we go to OK Fly now, uh, it'll bring me up into, it'll load uh, Flight Simulator X. Uh, I'm not going to press that just yet, I'm just going to pause the video because I'm using two different ways to record this, So and then I'll, I'll meet you when we get into Flight Simulator X. So, one second. So, hello peeps, we're back, and as you can see, um, we've, uh, we're in our plane. Uh, I'll show you this Cessna Caravan, there it is. It's... Uh, it's not much to look at, but it's going to hopefully make us a lot of money as we go. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to first start this baby up. Um, no, nope, that's the parking brake. There we go. I'm still getting used. I'm not very good at this game, as you guys will uh, no doubt find out. Uh, I, I, basically, this is the game that I'm going to learn to get better at, you know. Um, so I, I, need, I need your help. I'm going to be... Um, Looking forward to some of the comments that you guys are going to give me. Uh, the first thing I know that I have to do is talk to the air traffic control, Gloucester Tower, and request. Gloucester Tower, Cessna, November 208, Bravo Charlie, IFR to Ronald Swade, ready to copy. Ready to copy. November 208, Bravo Charlie, good squared, Ronald Swade, airport has filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 3000. Okay, it says climb and take 3,000 there, so what I'm going to do on this thing here is move this to 3,000. No, not 3,800. 3,000, and we'll have a vertical speed of 1,000 feet a minute. Okay, so read back the knowledge. And also, we need to make sure that there's on GPS and not on nav. Okay, request taxi. With Tango ready to taxi. Okay, what do you need to know what I'm drinking? You know, Gloucester Grain, Cessna, November 208, Bravo Charlie, with Diet Coke, ready to taxi. IF, I don't know what IFR means. But I'm definitely going to turn this baby on because I'll have no idea how to taxi out of this uh, this airport. So we're acknowledged taxi. Uh, going to this mode gives us some idea where we need to go. Alright. Okay, so let's take off the brake. Uh oh. I think I'll just turn the engine off. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, also, we'll put on our taxi and lights with a beacon view. And you see the air hauler message in the top left? It says taxi, taxi and take off. So, air hauler is monitoring everything that we do. And, uh, you know, if we mess up, then unfortunately it costs us big. So, uh, it's an expensive business, this air hauling. You know? If you've seen that uh, that program, is it Alaska Airways or something? You know where the dude's got a load of planes and it's really really cold, and he's always complaining about it. <laughs> but yeah, we watch out on Discovery Channel sometimes. So we all know it's an expensive business. You know what I'd like to have is a fleet of Boeing 747s hauling stuff all around the world. It can happen. You can buy Boeing 747s in this game. Also, uh, let's know any. Um, any sort of mods, plane mods that you'd like me to uh, to add to the game, and uh, I will do. I'm using a, a Satec X52 controller. If you, some of you guys are interested in what I'm using, I thought, but you know, when I bought the uh, X52 controller, I thought it would turn me into a, you know a decent pilot. 
you know, like a, an engineer with his tools. Um, but it really hasn't worked that way. Uh, I can just about fly, and that's only with the GPS. I, I'll show you in, in a minute, you know, my, my flying skill. The level of skill it takes you to get this plane off the ground is, um, is pretty non-existent, really. But like I said, you know, useful comments. You know, I don't want to comment saying, oh my god, you fail. Uh, get off YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd rather have comments where, you know, it says, hey, Stocko, if you do this instead, it might save you from crashing and dying. So, uh, that's kind of the comments that I'll be looking out for. And it's a nice, beautiful day. It looks, yeah, perfect for flying. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful when I record these because when it's dark outside, it's actually dark in game. And I don't know how to change that. So, <laughs> I can only really do these, um, do these missions in the day, which, by the time I finish work, it's fairly dark. Uh, again, if you know how to change that, then uh, let us know. I was thinking of maybe changing my whole computer clock to like 12 o'clock in the day, you know, <laughs> just just to record this. I don't know if that will work. Let me know. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much of a noob at this. I don't pretend to know everything. So if you if you look at this and you clicked on this thinking, ah, this dude will show me how to play Flight Simulator X. Yeah, you're gonna be very very disappointed. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can uh, showcase this and. An air hauler for you guys as well, because uh, it's a great little add-on. It's a great little addition to the game. Like I say, it, it makes it worthwhile. You know, like when you're flying a plane to a destination for a reason, it uh, just adds that little bit more fun and uh, realism. Right, need to hold short of runway nine. So let's break. <laughs> There we go. Now we go to go talk to the dude in the tower. Uh, request takeoff clearance. Tower, Cessna, November 2 Keith Bravo, Charlie, ready to go. Runway 9 IFR, Ronald Swain. Cessna, November 2 0 Bravo, Charlie, clear for takeoff. Runway 9 Yeah, cleared for takeoff. Acknowledge takeoff clearance. Takeoff, takeoff. Runway 9 Cessna, November 2 0 Keith Bravo, Charlie. Brilliant. Okay, because I've done this about 15 times and it's crashed on me every single time, I know to turn right at this runway. When I first started this, I turned left and as you can see, I haven't got much of a runway there. Um, so yeah, we're just going to slowly make our way and turn right onto the runway, whack the brakes on, and then we're going to give it full power. Full power, Captain. But I will do a night flight. On this, because um, some of the some of the uh, you know when the lights oh, keep pressing them break. Some of the you know when they're it's all lit up and it's all nice and blue and yellow and it does look quite funky in the dark. Right, okay, here we go. So let's put on the brakes. Uh, there we go. Oh, and we're gonna fire up. Come on, four speed. You can see the engine pumping. Our lights are on. It sounds powerful. And we're going to release a brake and go. Let's go. So this is me flying rightly, wrongly. Majority wrong, you know. I've got no flaps open, closed. I'm not really sure how to use the flaps. I know you have to put the flaps down when you're landing. But apart from that, I'm, uh, I'm pretty much lost in this game. There's so many buttons, dials and things that, uh, to try and work out what they do. So w all I do is just get the air... Yes, it's in the air. Get it in the air. We've got a uh, sort of try and get it in the air a little bit more. I don't want to be hitting anything, but that seems quite steep. Fly the sector and land at destination. That's what air hauls air hauler is telling me. Good indications your speed. You know, you want to get your speed around about 100. I'm going in the air. Then I just click this thing here. Alt nav. Autopilot, just let go and let him steer it now to where we need to go. It looks like we're going to crash, but don't worry, we are climbing. And uh, it looks a bit weird. Okay, acknowledge. Eight point five five. Cessna eight, Bravo Charlie. 
tune in to Gloucester departure. departure. Cessna, November 2018, Bravo Charlie. We should see the uh, the runway in a second. Cessna, November 2018, Bravo Charlie. Gloucester departure, Roger. Altimeter. Seems like we're doing a full circle. Oh, we're straightening up now. Turn right, heading 330. Proceed on course. Climb and maintain 3000. Oh, maybe you can't see the, uh, okay, knowledge instruction. Right, Stop three, talking three, to me, I'm trying to fly! There is the airport. No, that's a good Oh, you can just see the airport there, look. There we go. So you're pretty much in a full circle. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah, but Stocker, you could be going anywhere. You know, you're going in the right direction. Wow. I'm glad you asked me that. Because, if you go to the instrument panel, GPS, boom! It gives you a line. Uh, we're 157 nautical miles, sounds about right. I chose, we're only going to the Island Man, which isn't a million miles away, and we've got our GPS in the left hand corner, so pretty much we are ready to rock and roll. This is, um, why is the generator off? No voltage. Uh, whoops. Uh, okay. I press the button to turn the generator off. Apparently, that's the button to turn the generator off and the low voltage thing off. Maybe I shouldn't have um, taken off with those red lights being on the dashboard right in front of me. <laughs> and uh, I don't suppose real pilots would do that. But we're, we're okay. There's no more lights. It's uh, it's pretty dark. It's like I don't know what time is it. it yeah, it is. It's actually five past five in the afternoon at the moment uh, when I'm recording this. So it pretty much is mimicking what the uh, the weather because we've got real you know, real weather on this game. So it's actually mimicking what it is here and now. And uh, I do love the scenery in Flight Simulator X. I'll turn the graphics down, down just a little bit. I'm hoping to turn it back up in the next episode. It's just a uh, Trying to record this has been a nightmare. I've, I've been having to use Camtasia screen recorder to record the the first bit, and then perhaps to record this, and then back to Camtasia to record the other bit. So you, you'll see, you'll see how uh, how much hard work it is. But um, yeah, so next episode we should see a better better graphics. Now we've got all the lights on, haven't we? Yeah. So we can turn off the landing lights, which are there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Um, if you go to full speed, because you know, 57 minutes to get. Is that flashing? No. And you say it's, it's handling it fine at 20 frames a minute. 20 frames a minute, 20 frames a second. Which is what I've uh, put this on. You don't need any more than that, really. So here's our Cessna Grand Car Caravan Beacon View flying. Oh, there's Stocker Glossner in the pan in the uh, captain's seat. Stocker Gloss Airways, move ship for you, Airways. Uh, it'd be quite nice to have like a Stocker Gloss skin for this. I don't know how easy that is to uh, to do, but um, yeah, it looks quite bare, doesn't it? being all white. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm fairly new to this game, so I don't know too much about the modding community or, or, or what's available. I just... I'm talking... Tune into Manchester. So, uh, what I was saying, yeah, I don't know too much about the um, <laughs> technology I'm not tune into Wolverhampton, contact Wolverhampton. Hello, Wolverhampton. I'm glad the window pops up though, because you could miss some uh, quite important information like. Uh, Cessna N208BC, you're going to crash into a Boeing 747, please go down to 1000 foot. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure about the modern community. Oh, what's this, the tower? This is kind of like, you know, I can imagine like a, a safari, you know the uh, the wildlife programs when they like pan over somewhere 
That's kind of like a wildlife view, isn't it? And then we're back. It's getting a bit dark, isn't it? Where's the sun gone? It's over there. Well, the sun's nice and bright at the moment. Outside my window. Maybe we're just... Uh, Oh, all the lights are coming on as well. I wonder if I can turn on the... Turn on the... I think these are the... Uh-oh. Let's turn a lot of stuff on and off. Let's turn that on. Turn them off. Okay. Hopefully the, ga the lights on the gauges will light up in a minute. <laughs> but uh, we're on our way. We're going to check... Um, Let's check our GPS. Oh, we got some messages. Uh, airspace less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Okay. Synced Athen approach. It's amazing that uh, we're in the UK and we've gone through what, three or four uh, aircraft towers and they've all been American. <laughs> the American sounding um, air towers. Which is great. I know it's like a weird forest, isn't it? Looks like uh, they've been doing some um, military testing of bombs. Right there. It's quite hilly. I don't know how true or how... Um, how made up you know, the actual landscape is, but... I think it must be fairly, fairly accurate. Because I, I went uh, on one of my dummy runs where it crashed and I had to start again. I had to go down to um, Cornwall. And uh, I went past Bristol, and it had the Seven Bridge, which I recognise. It had the the two Seven Bridges, the, the old one and the new one. So I was um, really surprised to see that. And it was at night. That was a night flight. That was, and um, it was all lit up, and oh, it was lovely. So I'm hoping I can actually edit this correctly and it's all going to work nice and smooth and you guys are not going to know any difference that I'm using two different uh, recording tools for this. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I've tried to record it all in Camtasia screen recorder but uh, that's when it's just kept kept crashing every single time. So I recorded it with Fraps and it worked. Although it didn't record the, um, the air hauler. It, it only recorded the flight simulator, so I decided to do the Camtasia for that and the fraps for the Cessna flight sim. Eight, Bravo, Charlie. You are niner eight. Cessna eight, Whoa. Bravo, Charlie. Turn oh, okay. Left. I need to start there. Climb and maintain three thousand nine hundred. Oh, climb and maintain three thousand. No, okay. We want to go turn left, head in two nine five, L ILS eight. Okay, so ex turn acknowledge. Left, head in two nine five, climb and maintain. Turn left, 295, maintain, okay. You just stay there. So we want to go 3900. So 3900, and we need to turn left. So what we do is we take off the nav button. Hang on. LAS runway 8. So I think we go to this proc button. We can select approach. So we want to go ILS 8, that one. Enter. Uh, vector. Runway. Vector. Wait. Activate. Enter. There we go. So we are now following this, and it should be going to around about 295. It should be turning ready to. I'm hoping. 327. Yeah, we're turning a little bit. And we're at 39. 3900. Uh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to have to do is turn off the nav and then actually do this by hand. And this is going to be fairly difficult. I haven't done this before. But we're going to turn, hopefully, that will keep the altitude correct for me. Alright, I'm turning. Two nine oh five. Two nine oh five. Two nine oh five coming up. Okay, I've got a bit quiet because I'm concentrating, you know what I'm like. 
<laughs> I'm a bit of a dirt. So we're turning. Wow, we're turning quite far away, aren't we? Alright, let's try and level up. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And they're not going to whinge about me being one degree off. Uh, I'm a bit gutted I can't use my sat-nav, but that's what they're telling me to do, so... They're the boss. Oh, I think I'm still moving... slightly. Okay. Uh, we're 32 minutes away, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit more. Oh, 296. You want to keep it 295 until they tell me otherwise. Oh, 297. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a trouble playing on uh, a high simulation rate because you're gonna. <laughs> God. <laughs> I tell you, with these joysticks, though, I do feel like I'm uh, Airwolf. Have you ever watched Airwolf? Acknowledge. Tune into Manchester again. Oh, now you see. Yes, I did copy. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, let's tune into Lam Lamder. Let's turn on the sat now. And. No, that's the wrong one. Now, so he is going to get us somewhere close to the uh, the vector that we need. I hope. <laughs> um, oh my God! So we've got ILS 08, that's what we're doing, our approach. So, SatNav is going to approach, and we should start seeing the, the runway shortly. Okay, they're taking the mic. So let's take off navigation. Oh my god! So we're going to go to 295. Okay. Wow, look! Isn't that pretty? Oh, 325. Yeah. Right, heading 325. Charlie. 325. We're moving. 314, 315, 316. That dial up there hasn't moved. Descend and maintain 3000. Descend and maintain 3000. Okay, descend and maintain 3000. I'm descending to 3000. We're descending. We're descending. 
Okay, I'm going to put the thing back on because we're not... Whoa. What are you doing? So this should actually take us straight to where we need to go. That's one airport. We're going to go to another airport. This should take us direct to the uh, ILS, I hope. Now, I'm trying to explain this game to you guys and I don't really know what's going on myself. This woman keeps shouting at me telling me what I need to do. Uh, I keep doing it and she's just never happy. But uh, I'm glad to say the game hasn't crashed yet. If it's going to crash it would have crashed by now. It normally crashes within 20 odd minutes. So, oh. Turn left. Acknowledge. Okay. Just take nav off, 295. I, I am. Be patient. I bet she's not popular in the office, is she? Does she realise how hard this is? Straighten that out. 295, he said. Right, well, she's on a power trip. She. Yes! Oh, lovely to hear your voice again. Ronald Cessna November 208 Bravo Charlie Ronald Sway approach Roger altimeter 2992 Where do you want me to go? Okay, let's go back to the nav. It'll take us there. Cessna 8 Bravo Charlie, please expedite your turn to heading 325. Cessna 8 Bravo Charlie, please expedite your turn to heading 325. You gotta, you know, give them their juice. Cessna 8 Bravo Charlie, turn left heading 295. Okay. Turn left heading 295. Cessna 8 Bravo Charlie. Just wanna fly the plane. Cessna 8 Bravo Charlie, turn right heading oh. 325. Turn right heading 325. That's not 8 Bravo Charlie. 3, 2, 5. If you should, like, follow some planes going across this uh, bit of stretch of water to the Isle of Man, you'd think that I'm drunk and keep going backwards and forwards between 295 and 3. What was it? 3, 2, 5. Let's go a bit more. Bit. 3, 2, 3, 2, 1. Two, three, two, three, two, three. That's close enough. Wow, it makes a change. They're not shaking at me. I think that's the uh, runway that we need to uh, we need to hit. Yep, I need to see the vector. We should see it now on our right it's over there. Be right there, Cyber Golf Lima Bravo one one eight point seven seven five four Cyber Golf Lima Bravo. Okay, so we're just gonna turn in gently in a minute. Bravo Charlie, turn right heading three five five. Turn right heading three five five. Turn in right to three five five. Says no Bravo eight. Turn in right to three five five. We turn in. We turn in, turn in. Three five five. Whoa, whoa, easy with the controller stuck there. Whoa, I'm back to three four five. Wow, this flying stuff's quite hard. Three five five. Okay. And in a minute, we're going to turn, and we're going to land. Cessna eight Bravo Charlie, you are one six miles southwest. Turn right, heading zero five five. Descend and maintain one thousand seven hundred. Clear. Cessna eight Bravo Charlie, did you copy? Yes, it did. 
Turn right to 155. Maintain 1700. 155. Whoa! Whoa! Zero five five. Overspeed. Let's back off a little bit. Yeah, we get this. See the air horn and note that come out. Yeah, overspeed. Yeah, we're going to get penalised for that. Okay, tune to Runners Way's tower. Contact the tower. tower. Fly straight in. Make straight in runway eight. Cessna eight Bravo Charlie. I can't see the runway. Why have they put me on this course? I want to go this way. There's a runway over there. Is that the right one way? I don't know. All right, give me control. Let's turn off that. Let's. Okay. Flaps. I know, I know. Oh my god, what are We're not going to land. Oh god, quick. Well, I think we're going to do a flyby. Turn round. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Stop. Move in. We're going to just bank nice and slowly. We're going to bank nice and slowly. We're going to slow it down because we're going to... Oh, I know why it's going to be nuts. It's because I'm on bloody simulation rate. Oh, I was wondering. Okay. Right, let's turn around then, ready to land. Now those two triangles moving, I'm presuming that's planes wait for me to land. Runway's behind us. Uh, if I had passengers, I'd ask them to see if, you know, if they knew where the runway were. We're going to turn in a minute. This is nothing like farming simulator. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. I have no idea what that dude is trying to say. Just trying to bank, get ourselves back on track. We're going to probably land. Um, probably going to land the wrong way, but as long as we land, we're going to get penalised quite badly because uh, I decided to take it off autopilot on simulation rate 8, and uh, that's a big no-no, I should have uh, put that back onto normal. See, I'm flying it pretty normally, I guess. So I just backed off a little bit on the power. Where are we? We're about one and a half thousand feet. We're okay, we should start seeing the runway fairly soon. Uh, we can start straightening out. There we go. Just back off there, we don't want to overrun. There we go. So let's uh, Let's put some flaps down. Uh, bit of power because I should not put the flaps down. Okay, so you can see the 
Well, you can see the well, you can see the red, the red lights. And that's what we're aiming for. We are losing a bit of altitude, so just want to lift the nose up a little bit. That's it. We could actually turn left a bit. Please don't land in, in the uh, so I'm just stabilising our altitude because we are losing a bit of altitude. We can do with uh, yeah. This is not looking amazing. But okay, we're coming into land now. Let's put up another flap. Just slow us down. Back off the power. Start dropping our altitude. There we go. We're lining up okay. So we're slowing our speed right down, our altitude dropping, this is going to go really bad. Yeah, I need to climb a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're still losing. Oh no, mini bumps. Don't know what that means. Just trying not to crash and burn. Where it flaps it down. Power is off, nose is up. And we're coming in fairly hot. Oh no, we're coming in fairly hot. Let me just straighten this up. We're okay, we're okay. Stop, stop. Ten. Oh! Landing was okay. Taxi and park. There you go, peeps. There's a lesson in there. In landing for you. We've got the parking brakes on. We might run off the end. Let's turn. Spot on. Look at that. So we need to contact um, options, view air traffic control, tune into the tower. Uh, uh, I guess we just park up. So, whether this is the right. Okay, yep. Brilliant. Taxi, okay, we want to park, so request taxi to park. I don't know where that is, dude. Um, acknowledge. Turn that on, definitely. Okay. Whoa, we done it. Let's uh, let's go. Oh, I'm uh, I'm amazed. I landed it, and a bit. A lot of you guys are probably saying the same thing. But that was awesome when the A high five to Stocko Gloss for landing this plane. So th that's pretty much my flying experience there. What you see is how I pretty much fly every single uh, mission I do. Now, I'm looking forward to your comments to show me what's going on and what I'm doing wrong. Um, 
<laughs> so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I don't think you can improve improve on that too much, to be honest. So I, I, I think that was pretty much a textbook taken off landing um, scenario. I'm, I'm going to throw that out there right now and uh, pretty much challenge anybody else to do a better a better flight. Right. Okay. Looks like we stop here. I'm facing the wrong way, but all right, stop. Now the only way I know how to turn this plane off is by this little red button down here uh, to pull it. Whoa! Right, you have cargo to offload. Please alt tab back to air hauler to offload your cargo. So I'm going to pause the recording here, and I'll see you back when I get back to the um, air hauler screen. Hello. Well, I should be recording. Let me just check. Yes, I'm recording. So we're back here now. What we're going to do is we're going to load uh, or unload our cigarettes. The handling agents accept your cargo. You have completed this job. Yeah, and you can hear them cheer because they're so happy for me. Yeah, job completed. Yeah, uh, you have completed all the current jobs. You'll just stop flight monitoring and return to the job screen. Yes, please. So this gives you a bit of a flight report. Okay, pilot stock of gloss. We're in the grand. Uh, caravan. We departed at 17:02 and we, we arrived at 20 past six. So it take us 76 minutes. Right. And you got the date. Uh, the fuel maximum pitch. Yeah, we did do quite a bit of um, over speed. Maximum speed was 185 knots, which is really bad. Um, uh, service damage zero. Over speed. Oh, it says over speed. No. Oh, that's just the landing. Um, uh, VSI. Okay. Don't know what that means. Uh, gear down, pitch, roll, speed. See, it, it monitors everything. So, if you mess up on a big way, then it, you know it will um, it will penalise you for it. But let's just check our flight log. Uh, there you go. Flight time. Seventy, and it, it records all your stats and everything else. So, um, it gives you TDV. I don't know what any of this means. You probably guys know what. what the, and also that airports visited. You know, Isle of Man. Um, so you can sort of log where you've been and what you've done. This is your finance, so you can hopefully see um, base rental charges, leasing charges, insurance, bank loans, cash book. Um, oh, it looks like we got. Oh yeah, okay. They've taken a bit of money out of us because um, probably of my 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 flying. But uh, we got eighteen and a half grand for that uh, that flight. That's not too too bad. Um, we got our, our it's conditions ninety five, so it is damaged a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's got an airworthy and uh, active, so I, I think ours is okay for the time being. We start to get all sorts of problems if you don't keep up with the uh, with the repair. Um, what else? Pilots. We've only got me at the moment, uh, and it gives you a rating uh, according to your um, your flight log and things. Now this is the used aircraft. So you can buy a De Havilland Beaver if you wanted to. And it gives you the cargo capacities here. There's, you can buy a Boeing 747, a second hand one for 191 million uh, from Pacifica Airlines. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see there, a Cessna Grand, you know, you could buy one of ours, 1.1 million. Uh, if you want to buy new, you can. There's a big list there of what you can buy. I'm sure when you add mods, this list will increase because um, this is basically all the, you know, it's a standard vanilla uh, Flight Simulator X and it just pulls off the information from there. So. There's not many planes that we can actually buy at the moment, but uh, with your help, hopefully, we can increase this list. Uh, flight crew, we've got no flight crew because we need uh, over 55% reputation. Um, and also, you can maybe check the stock markets as well. So there we go, peeps. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Stocker Gloss, and this is Air Hauler Flight Simulator X. See you soon. Ciao for now.